it's Lee for ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you a Chinese colouring book that I've heard for quite some time now. It's actually a really big colouring book so hopefully we can get it all in screen. It's far bigger than my usual sized colouring book so here's an idea up against World of Flowers. So one of the problems that I have with big colouring books is that it's hard for me to store them so just bear that in mind when you've got a big colouring book that you fancy. So this one is Chinese and it's called The Story of the Seed, that's the translation of it as I understand it. And I believe that the artist in this colouring book kind of based the little girl that's featured on it on her own little girl. But as you can see, it is beautiful. There are coloured inspirational images. They're too big to fit on screen uh, with showing both. So we've got the little girl there. And I believe that she has a dream and it's about flowers and butterflies and another world but I'm not really sure on the translation. You can of course use Google Translate or Scan and Translate to see what that text says. You can use this picture as your inspiration to colour or you can just do whatever you want. Look at this little bunny in the corner. Now this book does have bunnies, fair warning. You know that's why I love it. So the artwork is divided into either landscape style or portrait style. This one's landscape and look at all the dark grey scale on here. Isn't it just gorgeous? Our paper is an off-white and it's lovely medium quality. Now it's not too heavy so I'd be wary about putting watercolours on it, particularly as that gorgeous coloured image is on the reverse. But look at that, isn't it just gorgeous? And look at this little bunny in the pocket, isn't it beautiful? This is stunning. I've never really seen the hair done like that before, it's cut off at the bangs. It's kind of a very different look. And to be honest, I just love looking at the coloured pictures. And look at that bunny. And there we have our beautiful line art. It's so delicate, the shading on it. It's just beautiful. Lots of solid black there for the hair. So if you don't fancy doing black hair, you get out of that. Isn't this gorgeous? So those little birds are featured throughout. We've got some beautiful hydrangeas, roses, and basically daisies, strawberries, beautiful things to colour there. I just think the shading that she's done on here is just so beautiful, so incredibly delicate. And I, for one, appreciate the inspirational coloured image. And of course that and the fact that it is exported from China does of course make this book a little bit more expensive than most colouring books. Now before I did the video I did check on Amazon and there are a few copies still available there. I'll put the link below. But... It is expensive and I'll put a link below to other sources and where I purchased the book from. Look at her strawberry hair. Isn't it gorgeous? Now my poor book is, you know, a little bit worse for wear. It's been through house moving and because it's the oversized it's 
was very difficult for me to find somewhere to store the oversized colouring books. So on the edges, etc., it is a little bit chipped and dinged. But that's not a reflection of the packaging. It arrived beautifully packed when I bought it a couple of years ago. There's no problem with the packing. It was just, uh, you know, it's oversized. And I can see why the artist has elected to use a large format for the book. Because it makes the artwork, for one thing, very frameable, but also it's a larger size, which makes it good for children as well. And I love the painterly look on here. And the artist, as I understand it, is a painter. So it's natural that she uh, has provided drawings that have this painterly look to them. So it's an art book, a story book, and a colouring book all in one. It'd be lovely if someone could translate this book effectively, not just using automatic translation services, because they're usually not very accurate, but like really a native speaker, if they could translate it, that would be fantastic. I'd love to know what the story really is about. And what a gorgeous scene this one is. It's very Alice in Wonderlandy looking to me. But then, you know, I can usually bring anything down to Alice in Wonderland. Because that's how I roll. And see here, she's got the lips on, but the artwork actually doesn't have that, so... There's opportunity for you to add those things in. The little mice are all textured and the texture is on there. And again, the stripes on the t-shirt are something that you can add in. And it looks like watercolour that they've used there. I would be careful about using watercolour. The paper is smooth and it's off white, but it's it's not the heaviest, and I'd be a little bit concerned about the beautiful imagery on the other side. And when I say not the heaviest, I mean it's not heavy watercolor paper, like a Secuem's coloring book, for example. Just a medium paper. And look at the bunny rabbit. Look at the look in his eye. Looks like he's like, meaning business and wanting to race down the road and grinning cheekily. I don't know. He's got a look about him. And in the background, the artwork on those flowers is very uh, grey and sketchy. So it's like a real background imagery. It's really very beautiful. When you look at the pencil shapes there... On the artwork they look like little bones unless that's just me loving my dog too much but when you see it colored on the image it really looks like the flower petals it's really beautiful and again this one uses the same background floral wallpaper and I've got this beautiful blue and white that reminds me of the Dutch china or the Delft or the uh, blue willow the Chinese china isn't it beautiful 
that's a lovely blue colour. Look how the wings are done, they look white and etched, very translucent. And when we come down here, on the artwork, you'll see that there's no actual line art for those wings. There's something that you could add in if you wished. And there's that little fairy. She's got the most beautiful little wings, hasn't she? Don't really see fairies with little wings like that. And she's got little rabbit ears. That looks so big, it's uh, hit my camera a few times and taken you for a ride. So I hope that's not too noticeable on replay. That one's just beautiful. You're a little funny. And as always, it comes to an end. So there we have it. The story of the seed. Chinese colouring book. The links to buy are below the video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.